Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about looks rare and what's going on with all the discussions about wash trades on looks rare. Since the launch of looks rare on January the 10th, we've seen the daily trading volume more than double open seas on the second day. But if you look at the number of transactions and unique users, it's much smaller, only about 2 to 3% of open seas. So what exactly is going on? First, I need to explain the concept of wash trading. Wash trading is a series of trading activities involving the same trader buying and selling the same NFT. This aims to create artificially high trading volume in order to manipulate the market price. This is exactly what's happening with LuxRare. If you look at the most traded NFTs by going to the collection section on LuxRare's platform, you will see the top ones are very different to those of OpenSeas. For example, the top three NFTs, Nibit, Terraforms, and Dot Dot Dot, are all zero royalty NFTs, meaning when you buy the NFT, there's no royalty going to the creator, but only the 2% platform fees. This is a very attractive and important component of wash trading, because in order to profit by buying and selling the same NFT to yourself, the gain, in this case the trading reward, needs to be more than the cost of trading, which is the 2% platform fee. I've recently published an article on Cointelegraph explaining how NFT traders take advantage of the trading rewards in early stage of looks rare to gain looks and also ETH. I've also published a more technical analysis on the simulations of watch trades in order to show you how PNL is calculated for each watch trade and the three important components that control the PNL. So let's have a look at the three moving components that affect the PL of each wash trade. You first have the individual traders volume, and then you have to know the total daily volume. And then you will also need to know the ether and lux exchange rate. So the PL is a function of these three components plus the rewards. And the profit you gain from the trade has to cover the 2% fee that you pay. The reward in this function is different from different phases. So you will see each phase reward allocation in the next slide. The proportion of reward you get as an individual trader is represented by the volume you trade during that day over the total daily volume. And this amount is converted into Ether. The trading fee is the 2% platform fee. But if you are buying and selling at the same time, you only need to pay the 2% when you sell it. So that's why there is a function of divided by 2 here. Now let's see how much trading reward you will get from each phase. So there are in total four phases. The 30 day, the 90 day, 240 and 361 days. The number of looks as trading rewards you get decreases over time, as you can see. So phase A, we get the most of rewards around 2.8 million every day. And by phase B, this amount has decreased by around 50%. As time passes by, the trading rewards you get will decrease significantly over time. This is why it's important to understand whether each trade is profitable during each phase. So now I'm going to show you the simulation of each one of these components under each phase. In this scenario, we fix the other two components, which is Ether Lux exchange rate and also the trader's daily trade volume. And we only simulate the total daily volume. So as you can see, as the total daily volume increases, the trader's profit becomes smaller. There are also three scenarios of how much a trader trades during a day, which is 10 Ether, 5 Ether, and 1. At each phase up to a certain daily volume, you will see the more the trader trades, the more profit he gets. But this is not the case once the daily volume passes a certain level. You see that the reverse is true when the daily volume becomes too big, so that the more one trades, the less rewards or profits you get. You also see from phase A and B, it's relatively easy to make a profit. But during phase C and D, 
it's almost impossible to make any profits from wash trade. The daily volume needs to be extremely small for any trade to be profitable. Now let's have a look at the simulation for Ether and Lux exchange rate. Here we fix the total volume and the trader's daily volume and simulate different levels of Ether and Lux exchange rate. As Lux becomes less valuable relative to Ether, the profit also decreases. This is quite obvious because the trading rewards are paid in Lux, whereas the platform fees are paid in Ether. So if Lux price is worth less compared to Ether, then your profit also decreases. You also see the three levels of total daily trading volume here as a comparison. And similarly, as discussed before, you will see the higher the daily trade volume, the lower the profit. A similar conclusion can be made here where you see phase A and B, it's still possible to make a profit. But in phase C and D, it's extremely difficult to make any profit. Regardless where the Etherlux exchange rates are or how much the daily total volume is. Now I'll move to traders volume simulation. Here we also fix the two components which are the Ether and Lux exchange rate and the total daily volume and simulate the traders volume in percentage of the total daily volume. Here the graph actually shows the different levels of Lux value when Ether is fixed at 2500. So as you can see, as Lux becomes more valuable, the trader's profit is also more. Interestingly, during phase A, as the trader's volume goes up, you actually see the trader's profit also goes up. But during phase B, C, and D, this is not necessarily the case, especially in phase C and D, where you don't have any profit to make anymore. Even how small the trader's volume is, it's still not profitable. It's easier to make a profit from wash trade if Lux is more valuable, and also if the trader's volume is large compared to the total daily volume. So now you understand what wash trade is, how to calculate the PL, and what the three components that might move the PL. Hopefully, you'll have a better understanding of Lux Rare and its wash trading by now. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.